All right, hello. So in this video, we're going to be prototyping the placement of our various drone components on our frame. That way we have a plan for how we want to assemble the drone before we just start randomly putting things together. So we're gonna figure out where to place the battery, the flight controller, GPS, things like that. All right, so let's get to it. Here are the two plates of our frame. This is the bottom plate and this is the top plate. And if you look on the bottom plate, we actually have different electrodes. We have a minus, a plus, a minus, a plus. So these four corners are actually the electrodes that we will be soldering our ESCs to. And then this, these two electrodes here is where we will solder our battery connection to. So that's pretty cool. Our frame also serves as our power distribution board. So this is the bottom plate, this is the top plate. Let's go ahead and put the legs in place just so we can get a feel for what things might look like. So here, the bottom plate is gonna mount to the top of our legs and the, the top plate will fit like this. Now the first thing we might wanna start out with will be where to place our flight controller. That is our Raspberry Pi and our Navio Shield. So, the two most popular places for the placement of the flight controller is either just right on top like that or in the middle. But in this case, the width of this Raspberry Pi is too wide to place the flight controller in the middle. So that fixes our decision to place the flight controller just on top like that. And we'll want the flight controller to be as close to the center of gravity and mass as possible. And that way we don't mess up the, the IMUs. So now we know flight controller should be on top. Our next decision is going to be where to place the battery, where to place our LiPo battery. Now the LiPo can go top, middle, or on the very bottom, but since the top has been already secured by our flight controller placement, we can either place the battery in the middle like this, or on the middle, but on the bottom of the plate. So this is the top side. We're gonna put it on the bottom like this, and we can just Velcro it in like that. Now we wanna have it horizontal, the battery horizontal, and not vertical like this, because having it vertical, we might take up some of these valuable mounting points. And if we have it horizontal, then we leave these completely free for whatever we wanna do with them. Now the cool thing is, is the battery placement is not a final decision as the flight controller placement is because it's just gonna be Velcroed in. So if at a later point we wanna attach some sort of a payload to the bottom of our drone and we need the bottom of the bottom plate exposed, then we could just you know change our mind and put the battery in the middle and everything would be fine. Next, we have our ESC. Now the ESCs, as we've already said, will solder will be soldered to the electrodes of our power distribution board or our plate. And the main decision is do we place the ESC on the top of every arm or on the bottom of every arm? Now with our build, since we have our power distribution board conveniently placed here, if we have our ESCs on the bottom like this, then we have our then we have our wires easily exposed already to be able to solder to the electrodes of the power distribution board. So on our build, I think we're gonna put the ESCs on the bottom of each arm and we'll just zip tie those in. So that takes care of the ESCs. The next decision might be where to place our RC input and our PPM encoder. So let's replace our flight controller. Now we need to know where are we gonna put our RC module and our PPM encoder. So these things need to be close to each other because the RC input is gonna be connected to the PPM encoder via a wire connection. So with that in mind, the RC input module might be good right here. And we could place our PPM encoder maybe off to the side like this, and we could just uh, place that there with some sticky tape. 
So we'll have a wire connecting these two, and then the output of this PPM encoder needs to be close to this pin of the Navio. And so this placement, it would be pretty convenient. So I think we'll do that. The last thing we have to do is figure out where to place our GPS mount. So this is the mount. And this is the GPS and its mounting stick. And the stick will just tie into the mount like this. All right. So where to place the mount? Well, if our flight controller wasn't so big, we would be able to place the GPS mount here where the frame screws could secure the GPS mount, but that would get in the way of our Raspberry Pi, so we're gonna place that in a different place. Now we have two options. We could place it, we could place the GPS mount on the other side right here. We, we might have to drill some special, some special holes to mount that, or we could just place the GPS mount here and zip tie it down. And I think that is the option we're gonna be going with with our build, is just put the GPS close to the center on an arm. And with that, I think we have figured out generally where we're gonna place things. And now that we have a plan and we know what we need to do, let's start putting this thing together.